Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we are going to react to Dimash Kude Virgen, another song from the singer contest. It's called Unforgettable Day and apparently uh, Dimash composed the song by himself uh, in his teenage years. Uh, but before we start uh, reacting to that, I want to talk about um, Russian people, those innocent Russian people who are witnessing how their country basically being sanctioned from everything <laughs> away like from the like uh, uh, western uh, companies and things like that now they have to only use what's inside of russia and and like the economy is going down and um like even instagram and youtube is gonna get blocked right now it's all the government's doing unfortunately right like this this innocent people they were just living their lives day to day, -to -day uh lives right um but all of a sudden they wake up and then all of a sudden they see that their government is terrorizing Ukraine and like it, they didn't vote for that I mean like they it is just um yeah it's insane that um it's happening basically but um yeah the reason I am talking about this is because there are plenty of people from Russia who watched um Dimash Kudebergian videos that I did already um and uh, I'm talking to them that um you know i understand you guys and um, i'm really sorry that it's happening and um, i wish it's gonna end sooner than later um and we hope to see you back <laughs> in international um spheres i guess in in you in including youtube and as politics unfortunately we cannot you know we cannot really influence that much or we could have influenced it if we were much smarter about it way 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 back you know because of our in inaction not acting on stuff and just being passive about this days became years and then years became decades and this man uh is the president and what happened he's like he's he's getting insane now it's 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 crazy but now as civilians we cannot really do much at this point when it comes to russia Let's not discriminate Russian people who live in different countries right now because that's what's happening. Uh, like, that's not their fault. It's just one insane man in charge doing these insane things, you know. It's not them uh, necessarily. So, um, yeah, let's keep, let's keep the peace in order um, and let's hope that the war ends soon. Okay, uh, now we are going to <laughs> come back to the song. Um, it's called uh, Unforgettable Day. I just want to make sure that people from Russia at least get to see one more video by me before <laughs> their YouTube fucking gets blocked. Like they, they will not be able to watch YouTube. Imagine not being able to watch YouTube at all. Like there's going to be only TV now. Oh my God. That TV is like, there's a term it's called uh, Zomboyashik in Russian. It's like uh, basically a box that makes you a zombie if you keep watching it. So that that's basically what TV is because like TV is like full with governmental propaganda and stuff like that. And imagine now there's no alternative like YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. It's insane what's happening in that country. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, we cannot forget about Ukraine and their sacrifices and like suffering, right? But right now, just I'm focusing on Russia. You know exactly what's happening in Ukraine. Um, yeah, nevertheless, uh, let's just enjoy <laughs> Dimash Kuda Birgenov. Let's have some good time, okay, together. And uh, Unforgettable Day, that's from the singer uh, competition. And this is gonna be my last singer competition video. I wanna move on actually from the singer competition contest, even if there's like more than 10 performances still. That's actually the reason why I move on because I don't want to keep like reacting to videos that are from the same place. I want to move on to what Dimash has done next after this contest, okay? All right, Unforgettable Day, first reaction, let's go. I'm watching it from my old phone here. <laughs> well, I had some issues last time when trying to put on a video. Uh, I'm not gonna put a video if that's okay this time, okay? Oh, 
He's singing in Kaza language, right? So pristine, it's like like them. Man, yeah, I have things to say basically about this. Um, in the world, in the grim world right now, uh, like his face is so cute and like. Um, wholesome and exuding light you know from him it's like the kindness like you can see from his face and uh, from his energy and like yeah in that green in this green world this video definitely sort of helps to his presence helps sort of to heal from that i guess uh, or just forget about it for a couple minutes right so it's nice it's always nice to watch dimash and um yeah i really i really like this performance as, as well he, he was talking about his love interest basically that he loves her a lot and he, she deserves the best treatment right like things like this and um yeah and uh, it was done in such an emotional powerful way where um he was singing a lot and i mean like sorry he was doing the high octaves a lot uh, impressive voices yet again it's insane that he wrote that all in his teenage years and uh, such a powerful he was able to write um, such a powerful emotion in a convincing way maybe he actually felt that like because otherwise I don't know how he was able to write that I mean I know that some songwriters uh, can write even what they don't feel like the, or at that moment of the writing, like let's say, uh, even if, if that person is uh, in a positive mood today, right? That songwriter, if somebody comes him comes to him and asks, okay, write about depression, right? That person will be able to write a depression song, even if he's not feeling it at the moment. Maybe Dimash is like that, but maybe actually, you know, usually more u more usually, uh, people write about stuff that they're actually like caring about and feeling about it right now so i don't know which one is it but either way it was awesome and um let me know in the comments below what i should be reacting to next so the singer competition is over for me right uh what's next after singer what dimash did in chronological order of his life uh, timeline uh after this what he has released let's hear it 
peace to our world. Trust me, there were a lot of people in Russia who was shocked as we were. Uh, and they don't support what's going on right now. So, like, I can only sympathize and be compassionate towards those people. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the comments. I'm reading them. <laughs> don't ever forget, I'm reading them. All right? Bye, guys.